FIFA 23 has been out for almost two weeks and you're still playing career mode and it's getting kind of boring. Here are my six tips to try to get career mode to stay fun for a longer period of time. I use these tips all the time and they really help me with engaging more with my saves. They make them more fun, more exciting, more enjoyable to play. So I really hope this helps you out. If it does, Cool. Number one is my favorite tip is sliders. In my opinion, you can't classify every FIFA player in about five or six difficulty categories. So mess around with sliders as much as possible and don't be afraid to go a little extreme. One of my favorite tips is reducing your acceleration and uh, sprint speed to make it a little bit slower for you and force you not to just play fast paced ball and actually pass around and use the team. Now, my second tip, very basic, is realistic transfers. Now, it might sound very basic to do realistic transfers, but try to keep transfers within a realm of possibility. A good way to do that is, for example, if you're in the championship, don't buy players that are more than 80 rated. I'm not even sure if you can. Set yourself a limit like, oh, I can only sign this rated, high rated player or, or whatever. Also, a good tip is if you're just starting a new career, go on the site called Transfer Market. And I'll pop that up right now. Basically, you can see all sorts of rumors around your team. You can also just go on Google and let's say, for example, that you have Marseille, you would Google the team and see what is going on, what sort of rumors are popping up around the team and maybe sign some of those players and see how that goes. A lot of people make their career modes boring by signing too many too good players straight away. You're going to win everything. It's going to be basic because let's be honest. Career mode isn't that difficult, but you can make it difficult purposely. Let's be honest, all of these career mode FIFA YouTubers, we all make it difficult for the storyline. And speaking of storylines, if you have, let's say you have a career mode with Dortmund and Kareem Adiemi is just phenomenal. He is the greatest you've ever used and it's he's brilliant and you love him. Next career mode, do me a favor, don't sign him. Don't sign him. Going for something that has been isn't going to be as good as trying to find something new. It's sort of the opposite of when it comes to like actual dating relationships. But we're not going to get into that. But what I'm trying to say is when you're trying to buy players, try to always go for something new, something fresh, something different. And if you can't find that, here's another tip. Do me a solid one. Don't ever, ever, ever open up those goddamn websites that show you the, ooh, who's that most potential or whatever. Just play who you want to play don't get players based off of their potential because it's just boring it's so much more satisfying getting a player that maybe isn't on those lists and actually becomes really good and becomes a cult hero a club hero that's the storyline you're looking for you're looking for that underdog that that maybe bring in oxley chamberlain to a club and and he could bring success or something like that so that's my number one number one tip that i've got is don't look at the potential. Another one, if if you can't figure out who to go for and without using websites and without going always for the same players, there's only one real option. And I highly recommend it. I think it's really fun to use this is actually use the scouting network in the game. It, it's very fun. You can tell exactly what you're looking for and you've got to be smart with it. You've got to use it about a month before the window opens so you actually have time to scout the players tell them what you want and if you do it right you'll have the players that you need and you'll find some unbelievable players i guarantee you use the scouting network and use it about a month before the transfer window opens now this is going to sound really stupid as a tip to keep career mode uh, fun and entertaining but don't sim the games just don't play the games I, I don't care if the save is a little bit slower you could set a rule that you play every other game but as soon as you start simming one two three four five six seven eight games and then playing it's gonna get so boring and it's gonna it, you will not have interest because let's be honest career modes it it takes time to develop the feelings towards the club where you're really invested in it it takes time and effort if playing six minute halves is too much for you lower the amount of time that's needed per game or play the new highlights mode but the main point is play the game don't sim it because if you want to sim you're better off buying football manager right you play fifa for a reason because you want to play the game you want to see the faces you want to experience the moments i know a lot of these tips sound very basic at least for me but I just wanted to give you guys sort of the fundamentals of what I use when I'm playing my career modes. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a short and a different one. Hey, I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Peace.